interacting with all of you as part of the second United Nations World Geospatial International Congress. The people of India are happy to host you on this historic occasion as we build our future together. It is wonderful that this conference is happening in Hyderabad. The city is known for its culture and cuisine, its hospitality and high-tech vision. Friends, the theme of this conference is geo-enabling the global village. No one should be left behind. This is a theme that is seen in the steps that India has taken over the last few years. We have been working on a vision of Antyodaya, which means empowering the last person at the last mile in a mission mode. It is the vision that has guided us in last mile empowerment at a massive scale. Banking 450 million unbanked people, a population greater than that of the USA, ensuring 135 million uninsured people, about twice the population of France, taking sanitation facilities to 110 million families, and tap water connection to over 60 million families. India is answering, no one is left behind. Friends, India's development journey, two pillars are key, technology and talent. Let us look at the first pillar, Technology. Technology brings transformation. Some of you may have heard that India is the world's number one in real-time digital payments. If you venture out, you will see even the smallest vendors accept, even prefer digital payments. Similarly, it was through technology that we helped the poor during COVID-19. Our tech-based Jam Trinity delivered welfare benefits to 800 million people seamlessly. Even the world's largest vaccine drive was powered by a tech platform. In India, technology is not an agent of exclusion. It is an agent of inclusion. You are all people associated with the geospatial sector. You will be extremely happy to know Geospatial technology has been driving inclusion and progress. Take our Swamitva scheme, for example. We are using drones to map properties in villages. Using the data, villagers are receiving property cards. For the first time in decades, people in rural areas have clear documents of ownership. Most of you know how property rights are the bedrock for prosperity anywhere in the world. This prosperity can be further accelerated when women are the prime beneficiaries of ownership. 
this is what we are doing in india our public housing scheme has provided home to nearly 24 million poor families women are also all joint owners of almost 70% of these houses these steps have a direct impact on the un sustainable development goals on poverty and gender equality our ambitious pm gati shakti master plan is building multi modal infrastructure it is being powered by geospatial technology our digital ocean platform is using geospatial technology for management of our oceans this is crucial for our environment and marine ecosystem india has already set an example in sharing the benefits of geospatial technology our south asia satellite has been enhancing connectivity and facilitating communication in our neighborhood friends i have spoken to you that india's journey is powered by technology and talent now let us come to the second pillar talent india is a young nation with great innovative spirit we are among the top startup hubs in the world since 2021 we have almost double the number of unicorn startups this is due to india's young talent india is celebrating 75 years of freedom from colonial rule one of the most important freedoms is the freedom to innovation this has been ensured for the geospatial sector in india we opened the sector up for our bright young minds all the data collected over two centuries suddenly became free and accessible collection generation and digitization of geospatial data are now democratized such reforms are not isolated along with the geospatial sector we gave a key boost to our drone sector our space sector has also opened up for private participation 5g is taking off in india as well access to existing data drone technology to get new data platform for space capabilities and high speed connectivity will be game changer for young india and the world friends when we say no one should be left behind it applies across the covid-19 pandemic should have been a wake up call for the world in taking everyone along billions of people in the developing world needed diagnostics medicines medical equipments vaccines and more yet they were left to their own fate there is a need for an institutional approach by the international community to help each other during a crisis global organizations like the united nations can lead the way in taking resources to the last mile in every region even in fighting climate change 
hand holding and technology transfer are crucial. We share the same planet. I'm sure we can share best practices for saving our planet too. The possibilities that geospatial technology offers are endless. Sustainable urban development, managing and even mitigating disasters, tracking the impact of climate change, forest management, water management, stopping desertification, food security. There is so much that we can do for our planet through geospatial technology. I wish that this conference become a platform to discuss developments in such important areas. Friends, the second UN World Geospatial International Congress makes me optimistic with the stakeholders of the global geospatial industry coming together with the policy makers and academic world interacting with each other, I'm confident that this conference will help steer the global village into a new future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.